We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome to another episode of Clone Wars Thursday Throwback. We're looking at Hiyadi Mundi. Jedi Knight, who's had a uh, he's had a tough couple of weeks, hasn't he? At this point, fresh off his his appearance in the Acolyte. It was confirmed to be him. Um, yeah, everyone's all of a sudden they're all worried about his birthday and you know, facts that came from a trading card or from a West End Games card from 2003, all of a sudden everyone cares about Kiyadi Mundi. Everyone's just, uh, you know, for the last probably five years, he's just been a meme for everyone. So, look, we're talking about the figure here. We're not talking about fandom and, you know, all the nitpicking that goes on <laughs> with canonical details and breaking canon and all that hullabaloo. It's, it doesn't break canon. It just retcons a trading card from 2003, which was, which, you know, once, once Disney took over in, uh, 2013, 2012, I think it was 2014, they kind of said, nah, we're, we're not going to be beholden to all the books that have been coming out. You know, we're going to start fresh. We don't want to be beholden to stuff and we don't want it to block our ability to write new stories. So yeah, any trading card that came out in 2003 with a fact and details of Caddy Mundy's birthday, no longer relevant, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, he's got a new birthday, he's got a new year, he's got two brains, he can be as old as whatever, who knows, who knows, but yeah, this is um, this is a good figure, probably, you know, for me, Caddy Mundy isn't one of my favourite Jedis, Jedi, sorry, Never mean to say Jedi's. It's not something I do. Jedi. It's like Lego. One Lego, two Lego. One Jedi, two Jedi. But yeah, coming off of the Clone Wars, this is a good representation of his character. A really good, you know, figure to come from that animated style. He didn't really change too much from his sort of live action appearances. You know, he pretty much rocked the same sort of this sort of hooded hooded vest sort of um tunic. Not tunic, but uh yeah. It is a bit of a tunic, I suppose. He didn't really change too much. Of course he's got the uh communications gauntlet on. got the boots, it's sort of a reddish, almost a clay, clay sort of reddish colour, terracotta almost. Do have his lightsaber here, yeah don't have any of the trading cards or packaging for this guy, um, I just checked the cards and I didn't even bother looking at the packaging, uh, <laughs> it's, it's in a box all the way over the other side of the room man, I just... Wasn't feeling. I'm like, look, I'm sitting down. I can get the figure off the shelf. I'm recording this thing. So a yeah, pretty simplistic design for Kiyadi Mundi's lightsaber. Um, I think I did have it held in this hand with with a rubber band, but you can obviously see that that's uh, you know, it's a bit loose. Um, so I need to get another another band. It will hold in this hand, but I do like, like him using the force gesture with this, this hand. Having him hold the blade there. You can see he's got the, uh, you will, you will use the force. So obviously the biggest, the biggest sort of appearance Kaudi Mundi had in the Clone Wars was, um, Landing at Point Rain, that was kind of the biggest part. Obviously, he did show up in other periods throughout the Clone Wars. And then in uh, Tales of the Jedi, he was seen with his hood up, which is kind of funny. <laughs> because the hood sort of drapes drapes over the cone of his head. It doesn't really look right. 
Uh, there, there's a couple of figures out there that I'd like to get my hands on. Uh, there was a concept version of Kiati Mundi. I've got one on my eBay watch list. There's a concept version of Kiati Mundi that I'd love to get. And also the comic pack version with uh, Sharad Het. And he's wearing like a... Almost a cowboy hat. Obviously to conceal the conceal the fact that he's got the the second sort of cranium, sort of second brain on top. They're interesting, interesting figures that I've just never come across in person. So I've never never been tempted to pick them up. So they're they're, they're ones I'd like to get a hold of. Now, um, yeah, recently he's had a release in the Black Series with the six-inch figures. Still waiting on mine to rock up. Hopefully not too soon. Yeah, they sort of teased that. Well, they sort of showed that over a year ago. And then all of a sudden it went up for pre-order out of nowhere. And within weeks, people, or, you know, even a, even a week or two, people had it in hand. So they are, they are showing up. So I'm looking forward to adding him to my Black Series uh, Jedi shelf. It'll be cool. So articulation-wise, he's got the uh, the ball and socket head. Not a lot of movement there, but it's enough. He's got the ball hinge in the shoulders and in the elbows. Swivels in the wrists. A swivel in the torso. I think he's got swivel, yes, yeah, swivel hips. A hinge in the, the knee. It's nice and tight. And no uncle articulation, which is pretty much... You know, that was pretty, pretty well standard for the Clone Wars figure line but isn't he's a good one he's he's a good figure he looks good they did a great job with the sculpting of the clone wars line which is exactly why i'm going over these figures each and every week almost it's just one of those lines i had a lot of fun collecting still enjoy still enjoy the line today So another Jedi to the uh, to the video ranks. If I do, I don't know if I've ever reviewed this particular figure. If I did it back in the day, I will keep a link in the uh, in the video at the very end, so you can go back and watch my watch the early days of the Forces with Jesse, which was very you know it's nearly been 12, 13 years at this point. So yeah, there's some stuff from like 2011 that no one should ever see, but I will put it out there if it is indeed there. I appreciate you all coming in, checking out this video, and tuning in. We'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the force be with you. And what about the cannon attack on the on the birthday? The, the, the birthday. What about what about the birthday? What about Kiari Mundi's birthday? All right, I'm done. Farewell. <laughs>